I do think that it's really important to support, to train and educate and inspire uh, the next generation of creatives. Fairfax has been a partner for several years now and we love working with the committee and seeing um, the success of creativity in Western Australia come to life. So all the work they do behind the scenes is, you know, it's a lot of hard work and we're really proud to be supporting them in doing that. I think the way that they're actually trying to engage and network with young people in the Commune series, for example, is absolutely excellent. And I know a lot of our students support that. Everyone remembers when they were growing up, you know, you know, a decade or two ago, great TVCs, you know, they were we still talk about them, they still resonate years after they were last shown. That um, art shouldn't be lost just because it's online and it might be talking to, you know, not a million people, it might be talking to 10,000, but those 10,000 people are still important. They're probably more likely to be your core customers. Um, so I think it's really important that the art of good creative, good emotion, good connectivity with your audience is not lost just because it's online. I think they're very professional um, and I think uh, they set the benchmark uh, really high in what they do. Congratulations PAD, so I think you do an awesome job. It would be wonderful if we actually had a more engagement um, and the ability to be able to tap into the young creatives who can come back in and talk to our students regularly rather than it having to be kind of a part of a structure uh, sort of thing or just having a, maybe a roster of people who are willing to just have an ear available. Really what we need is to see a creative industry which is world class um, and that's in all of our interests.